the Bradley versus Manny fight. Bradley versus Manny. You know, Mayweather's better than Bradley. I'm better than Mayweather. So you, and these are the smaller guys. You know, I demonstrated in my countless videos. Then when you have a smaller DNA type or genetic type, genetic prototype of a race, you know, five foot six, five foot seven, five foot nine, typical Hispanic, typical African American, a little bit taller, five twelve, six foot, typical, you know, average, you know, what what you generally come across. And when African Americans are shorter, they're generally you know, greater athletes in other races. That's why they excel at soccer, etc. So, um, what you have here is another example of them using the fact that black people are better and that it bothers black people to know that they're better fighters to try to get pit other races against us to bring that into question. Something we all know is true. Like, we all know we come from Africa. The ancient Egyptians were black. They're killing us with prescription pills. But... They want us to get used to it, that the fact that it's a lie, you know, and have to hold it inside so they can brag about um, making us fall in line. And then there's those who are too stupid to realize that that's what's going on, who fall in line based on the fact that they're just a sheep completely under mind control. You know, that's why psychology is such a thriving industry. What do you think they apply it for? You think it's being all, all being used on children? Oh, we're trying to help your child develop. That's just one field of psychology. There's many fields. And there's many different varieties. You know, behavioral, cognitive, functional, etc. There's different fields in psychology and there's different lenses they use to perspectives they use to analyze what is going on and then there's the sociology sociological perspective you see how people interact with each other you know it's not just you know your dna it's not just your environment it's once you apply everything together your nature versus nurture okay is it the nature of the black man that makes him a better fighter yes is it his nurture his culture also yes because he's being pissed off all the time He's, his body type is stronger as it is, and he has more reason to be pissed off. So he's going to excel. And even if you took away the anger, naturally he would excel. Because as all martial arts demonstrates, anger doesn't necessarily mean you're going to win because you're more mad when you get in a fight. Thank you. I swear on the Holy Bible... There is a ruthless conspiracy against black people and all of humanity. And the main people who are doing it are psychiatrists, bankers, white supremacists, eugenicists, people who want population control. They have always tried to figure out ways to discredit the black man and disenfranchise him, marginalize him, subordinate him, subject him to their harsh treatment. They've always found ways to say that you are no good, take away your rights, take away your life. That has always been their agenda. And their new way to do it is psychiatry. They've been doing it since about 1808 and bef around then and before that. It was just called something else before that. Okay, you had the Willie Lynch letters. But I'm not going to get into that, okay? All the scientists the atheists, the feminist movement, all the sciences, excuse me, Freemasonry, they don't want you to know the ancient Egypt was black because they want to empower the white man and throw the black man off balance. Okay? There's white racist plants, I swear on the Bible again. Without any doubt, I have personally encountered white racist agents from secret societies, from the white Aryan resistance, from the Ku Klux Klan, from other white racist secret societies, and the factions of Freemasons, the factions that are related to the German lodges. Remember, Germany brought us the Illuminati, Bavaria, etc., Weishaupt, Hitler, Tool Society, New Knights Templar, etc. England brought us the Freemasons, London Square, the bankers, okay, um, Rothschild, Ireland. Remember where the, the Scottish and the Irish come into play in the secret societies, where they hid when they were being persecuted, okay, not just in America. Okay, ger um, then we, we go on to the fact that the Italy has the Italian Mafia and they have the, the Knights Templar and other groups as well. Okay? And in the end, 
I am a brain surgeon's son who went to one of the top boarding schools in this country, which had a bunch of white racists in it, had white athletes who were angry at the black man for his great achievements, who are angry that Hitler lost the World War II. I went to many different psych wards in my research, in my protests, being detained myself. And I saw white racists who understood what I was saying, but the secret society oath wouldn't allow them to tell me what was going on. But they knew I was right. And it was frustrating for them to know that I'm right, smarter than everyone there, and I am a living example that proves Hitler wrong and their entire structure of farce, a fallacy. I swear to you on the Bible, I will do everything in my power to bring down this white power structure before I am dead. And I swear to you I am being persecuted right now, even at this moment, by bootlickers, by people in grocery stores even. Okay? I have tons of examples. My explanation list, I have shown you tons of examples. They sent me messages. I've showed you the comments. Anyone who's kept, um, who's been following my series has seen countless provocateurs in my comments going out of their way to try to instigate race wars. Countless nonsensical complaints against my videos. When you have other videos of completely racist remarks being shouted, you had racist remarks in the title, okay? You don't have that in my video series. But they don't take off the, the video series like Black vs. Mexicans where they have Mexicans being racist toward black people. But they take off my videos. And I bet you they'll take off my version which says stop the violence. Now, if you know what is good for you, you must understand that our people are being targeted for extermination. And a vast majority of the scholars have decided it's better to see what they can get out of siding with the New World Order rather than wait in line to be exterminated by the, by the hypocrites in the system, the scum, the lawyers, the countless shrinks, psychologists, sociologists, the people who are picking your brain and scrutinizing the social trends, the people who observe the information in the browsers, okay, the search engines, the people who observe the data that you transmit from your computer as far as what you're interested in via Google. Thank you.